Yes, we're starting in the dark today because this thing needs darkness to show. It's something with a battery to it. When you flash it on, it flashes to a green colour. It's a very dull orange, which you'll see in a minute, but it's an extraordinary green, either a flashing one or a constant one. And it's something I think was invented sometime in 1940s by the German scientists, and they called it electroluminescence. And it's only caught on about sort of 30 years ago, so it's quite recent. I first saw it on the lapel of uh, magicians from Austria who had lighted the repels with this stuff on it. Most peculiar and looks wonderful. Well, let's have a look at the um, thing in daylight as well. Oh, that's better. Yes, it's quite a clear orange, <coughs> this wire. Um, so the glow which comes from inside comes through that light orange. When I put this on, you can just about make it out flashing, but hardly at all, because the light outside is reflecting off the orange here. So that's an extraordinary version of something which has taken some time to come into the market and now it's um, having quite a following for making for, art, for artisans and, and, art, and inventors to come up with ideas of using this extraordinary material. So I'm filling up a few more things from probably the year 2000 most of this, which was a very good time for me to find new things. I did a lot of travelling that time. And here's another example of a very sweet little thing. It's an advertising gimmick, but it's unlike any ordinary one. You can make it roll for a start. They're normally little squares which do this flip flop, flip flop effect like that, but this is done looking like a piece of cheese or something. And this does open up like that into a hemisphere, and it'll open up the other way like that into another hemisphere. And then rather neatly it turns into a sort of box thing like this. Very nice. Opens up like that too, but it's a very nice fiddly thing with lots of adverts on it, which um, obviously businessmen like. That rolls like that as well, so it's been great, a very nice um, finger exercise. It, 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 it entertains the fingers as well as the, the rest, rest of the mind as well. So I'm very fond of that one. And it's the only one I've ever come across shaped originally like, like a circle, like a, like a disc. Here's a strange thing. These all got little batteries inside. And they've got lights which show the numbers from one to six. So this is for playing in the dark, even if you like, a game with um, dice which light up. This lights up just by banging on the table and on the table and on the table. They bip a bit and then they settle to a particular number. So that's a four and that's a three and that's a four. And we do it again and we do it again and we do it again. That one's decided not to work. He's gone off line. <coughs> I like that little, there's a funny little line going from it. Oh, that's trying to come right. Yes, that's working as well. So, yes, a game of, of uh, dice in the dark with circular ones which flash and give you random numbers from one to six. Goody, goody, goody. Put those away. This is a very oddball thing. Look at this. It's got a little face there with eyes. There we are. And a beak. <coughs> this is that material which is um, a finger trap. So I put my little finger in there, it's trapped, I can't get it off. It's tightening as I do it, I can't take it off. So it means I don't have to hold on to it because <coughs> it's holding on to me. So that's another thing. To get it off again is quite tricky. You've got to pull like that and it just about comes off. A very sweet little thing for children to play with, something that attracts them, and it attracts them by holding on to their fingertips. Very nice. This is a bizarre thing. It's um, it's a stinky, but it's um, it's made in America, <coughs> and it seems to be that it seems to work on American stairs. But we've tried it here in Britain, and it just doesn't seem to want to go down the stairs, which is what stinkies should do. Instead, with lots and lots of battery in there, and the control panels here. Yeah, you will hear it shouting instructions to you, so let's turn it on first of all, which is on. Hey, Hi, I'm Slinky, and it's Slinky time! Keep my legs moving from end to end! Game time! Squeeze me! Catch me! He's exhorted me to do all sorts Bubble of things, two. and I can't keep up with it. I do, and then you do it too! Ooh! Bubble one! You do it too! Yes, well there we are. I still like a slinky to slink, so this one, I'll have to see if I can find the carpet of stairs to make it work. 
There we are then. It's a big, glamorous American toy. This one is rather cute. It's just a pencil, but with a rotating top looking like a satellite. It spins round and round and round, and I can sort of make it work, but not very well. But I just like the idea of something rotating at the top like that while you're scribbling your notes in, on, 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 a, on a pad. It's a very, very cute little thing. The last item is the most peculiar thing. I've hardly played with it at all since I've had it because I didn't try it on a, on a hard surface. That's what you have to do. You have to drop it down at a height and it goes... That's peculiar, isn't it? Unlike any other ball I know. Oh, my goodness me. And again. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. That's a little collection now, isn't it? Mm.